Okay, I'm at the uh, Baker Creek Heirloom Seed website, and I noticed some new features on here uh, yesterday. And so I messaged them and asked them when these features took effect, and they took effect yesterday. This is how you know you spend too much time on your website. First thing I wanted to show you is I'll come up here and I'll type in tomato. And this is la 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 la. My computer's slow. Okay, filter items. The color of the tomatoes, flesh color, plant type habitat, bush dwarf, determinant, intermediate. That is super awesome. Uh, now I know how big the tomato plants are going to grow. Uh, so I can actually take an inter indeterminate that's a hot weather tomato and plant them on the outside of my determinants and bushes if they are not heat tolerant so they stay alive during the hot summer months. Uh, shape, climate, maturity, early season, mid season, uh, origin, where they come from. A lot of times this is critical. Uh, if you're growing tomatoes in a new area it's not used to, best sellers or favorites, uh, the flavor, low acid, glove size, I'm not sure what they mean, and then resistance, tolerance. So I can go heat tolerant, and I can go, get back down here, drought tolerant and these tell me what my heat and drought tolerant tomatoes are which in Oklahoma in the summertime now that I know this it can work out to my advantage uh, that's Dave somebody I forgot his name uh, so th th this is really cool especially with tomatoes when you're determining uh, trying to determine what you want uh, another fun one, uh, let's do beans. I'm not going to do a search, I'm just going to go to beans. La 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 la. Uh, oh, there's my mic. Okay, the beans are coming up. And again, filter. I can automatically, if I want green bean, click green. Uh, bush, droll, dwarf, pole, vining, shape, uh, the origins, uh, let's see, bean type, disease tolerant, heat tolerant, they say they've only got one heat tolerant one, let's see what it is, the damn <laughs> um, but I think, and especially with Baker Creek, because they really, really deal in rare and unusual seeds, uh, I can now pick better items for my climate. Um, do one more real quick. Uh, cucumbers. I give away... Tiny cucumbers. I've given away about 50 gallons this year. Uh, and then again, I'll check out their filters. Brown, green, yellow. Rind color. Uh, oh, I can do a container. They've only got one container. This is cool. Instead, of, If I want to do a container cucumber... Okay, dark cucumber. Uh, I don't have to search a, a kajillion cucumbers. 
Oh, you didn't let me do that? Fine, I'll do it down there. I don't have to go through a kajillion cucumbers to figure out um, what I want. Come on. I don't know why my computer does this. Again, origin. Uh, that's great. I really like the Southern Asia. Uh, Eur Eurasia vegetables. Uh, cold tolerant, disease resistant. I want to do some cold tolerant. We're going to be getting cold here in a couple months. Tender green burpless, 55 days. Uh, so I can say, hey, let me click on that. I wish down here they'd have add to cart and add to wish list. I can go here, add it to my wish list. If my computer will let me. Da, 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 da. There we go. Uh, as you can see, I've already played. Uh, I'm really liking the new site setup. Uh, it's making it much easier to find stuff. I can uh, get more bang for my buck now because I can actually see what's going to grow well in my area. So I hope you guys check out the Baker Creek website.